How can you track the ROI, the return on investment of a coach? It's a crazy question, but let's, let's think about it. In Real Estate B-School, we track, we measure, we hold everything accountable. We hold our time accountable. We hold our dollars accountable. So we absolutely coach our members to hold us accountable to real results in their business and their life by using Real Estate B-School. If you're at the point in your journey where you wanna surround yourself with some folks and challenge yourself, make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I wanna invite you into our next challenge where I will personally coach you, train you, hold you accountable, push you to another level of revenue and profit in your business while having more time and freedom to be able to impact in areas of your life that matter, honestly, more than real estate. If you like these videos, give us the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and also leave us comments. So this question about holding you know, your coaching uh, contract or your coaching agreements or your investment in yourself accountable, it's a very simple equation. You know, for us, it's more money, more freedom, more impact. And we have tangible assessments that we use with our clients so they can measure their progress in our program. And I think of our first coaching client ever, Stacy Peterson. And I'm gonna tell you her journey quickly in the context of this is the area of a return on investment for coaching. Stacy started out where she was in every aspect of her business, doing about 100 sides, working buyers, working sellers, evenings, weekends, stress, not showing up great as a mom, not present as a spouse, you know, not taking care of herself physically, just in a rough place. And it came down to the fact that she was following others that weren't really interested in the specific tangible metrics around the success of their program. There was a one dimensional focus. It was on more homes. So while she was selling more homes, she was not living a life of meaning. So she had a little bit more money, but no freedom and no impact. And so in, within six months of working with Stacy, like I said, she was the first person to come into our world. Within six months, we were able to pull her out of production in her team. So to stop working with buyers, stop working with sellers. She tripled her business within a three year period, went down to two days a week, was came on as one of our coaches. Now she runs the entire operation. She actually sold her real estate team for a seven figure valuation in a market where that had never been done before. Looking at, you know, so when I think of her success, it's more money, right? Was she able to move the needle on her financial goals? And we track that on a monthly basis. We literally track net worth on a monthly basis. So that's number one, more money. Number two is more freedom. And what does freedom look like? It's freedom from stress and freedom of time. We do time studies, we track, we create ideal weeks. We put ourselves in a position to do more impactful activities so we can work less hours, right? Stress, we do personal wellness assessments on a monthly basis. So you can actually track where you're going in your wellness, in your sanity, your emotional well-being, your spiritual journey, right? This is not just about selling more homes. And then we talk about more impact, right? How is Stacy showing up as a mom? How is she showing up as a wife? How is she showing up as a daughter in her community, in her church, right? These are things that she can tangibly measure. So when I ask somebody, hey, how is that going? What's the return on investment of that thing you're spending money on? Kind of easy if it's a lead source, you know, right? If I'm spending X dollars on paid search leads, you know, it should be leading to this many appointments, to this many clients, to this many closings. It's a pretty easy calculation. Sometimes we tend to, get stuck in a rut with a coach and we're really not getting results in the areas that you're measuring it against because they haven't taught you how to measure the impact that they're having. And so if you're with a coaching organization and you're sort of wondering if you're moving the needle in the things that matter most to your business, use the, the more money, more freedom, more impact equation, right? Am I making more money? Are they challenging me to track my net worth. Most coaching programs don't want to because they're focused on top line, not bottom line. Big distinction, right? More freedom, right? Am I working less hours? Am I, am I sort of more available and free in, in, in my time and my emotional sort of showing up, you know, in, in terms of my stress? 
And then when I think of more impact, am I showing up more present in my family and the things that matter uh, more than all this other, th other stuff? You know, no one's gonna care at the end of your earthly days how many homes you sold. You know, same was true for, for my journey where, you know, 4,000 plus families served. I sold about 5% of those homes, me personally. I was more focused on building a business that gave me more money, more freedom, more impact. So I can show up and do big things in areas outside of my business. And so if you're at the point in your journey where, hey, what would it look like to surround myself with folks that are willing to challenge themselves to not just grow top line, but to grow their life, to be, you know, kicking butt in their business, but also to kick butt at the end of the day when it matters most, when you need to be there as a parent and when you need to show up for your spouse at the end of the day, right? If you're coming home and you're just numbing out, you need to spend a little bit of time with me. I will train you, coach you, hold you accountable in our next challenge. Just go to rebschallenge.com. That's rebschallenge.com. If you like the video, make sure you give us the thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn notifications on so you're the first to know when a new video drops. And as always, please leave comments. So I always say this, you know, this journey, uh, traditional methods and, and you know, coaching versus what we teach in the more holistic approach at Real Estate B-School, either, either one is hard, right? The question is, is there something more attractive waiting at the end of those two journeys? We all know someone in their 60s, maybe in their 70s that's still selling real estate that has no financial independence whatsoever. That's hard. That's hard to have no exit strategy from real estate. The path that we teach it's going to require you to learn new things. It's going to require you to surround yourself with people that are thinking a bigger game. They're willing to get uncomfortable, right? And so it's just a different game. It's challenging, right? But it's a fun journey. We'll see you in the next video.